What's up guys, Sean here. So today we're out here at the mansion and we're gonna take the Jedi camera and we're gonna take 3D photos with it. And then I'm gonna use an app called Xterio to turn it into an anaglyph image so that you can look at the image with your 3D glasses right on the TV set or right on YouTube. So yeah, let's go around and take some pictures guys. So today we're out here at the mansion and I've got a really cool video for you guys. So I haven't really been able to crack the code with YouTube yet in getting metadata inserted into the video so that YouTube figures out that the Jedi camera um, is producing a 3D video. But I have cracked the code in making 3D images. Now today we're going to show you a Mac workflow um, because I got this app off of the Mac App Store. Um, and it's called Xterio and uh, it's an interesting little logo. It's X and O and then Stereo in the middle of it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go around the mansion and I'm going to take still photos um, of what I think would make really cool anaglyph images and then the rest of the video is going to be anaglyph so you can get you a little two dollar pair of anaglyph um, 3d glasses the anaglyph 3d glasses are the ones with the red on one side and the blue on the other side so the rest of this video you'll be able to see 3d images and i think that's really cool um, and not all is lost, guys. When you take a picture with this, it doesn't have to be 3D um, because you're taking essentially two images um, and they're, there's a left side and there's a right side. So if you want to just take the left side, you've got yourself an image that you can use just about anywhere. And if you want to make it cool, then you can make it anaglyph. Um, and when I figure out how to do YouTube, <laughs> in 3D, then we'll make that happen as well. Um, but guys, there's all kinds of stuff on this property that I think would look really cool in 3D. Um, so let's get into it, guys. Check it out. All right, guys. So the app that we're talking about today is Xterio Player. This is what the icon looks like. And so we're going to click on this and open it up. Um, and it's a pretty simple interface. You basically just drag an image in here and then you have different modes of, um, that you can use to affect the image. So over here, these are the images that I took at the mansion. So, um, and this kind of gives you an idea. So basically this is a left and right stereographic image. Um, and it's left eye and right eye. Um, and as you can see, um, by the edges here, you know, we have a little bit of padding next to this well, but we don't have the padding over here. And then over here, you know, we've got the cars really close to the edge, but we have a big gap over here. So that kind of gives you an idea of the different perspective. And the reason I think this image is going to be cool is because you have these pillars. Um, and if you'll notice, like, look at the door. So we have um, a little bit more over here. Um, I mean, there's subtle um, offsets, but I think it's going to turn out really cool. So I'm just going to run through the images that I took real quick. This is another one that I think is going to be really cool because you have kind of a foreground that bleeds into the um, background. Then you have this column right in the middle that just kind of breaks up the space. Um, and then you've got these stairs going down. You've got these rocking chairs. Um, so I think that's going to be pretty cool. This one, I don't know how close up you can get with this camera. So we're going to, this is going to be a test, but, um, I thought there was a lot of really cool depth here. Um, there might be some cool depth on these leaves. Um, you know, we've got some columns back here and so we'll see what goes on there. 
this one I think is going to be really cool because we have the columns in the foreground um, and then we have a background that's kind of way back there. So, and the sidewalk just kind of goes into infinity. So that, I think that'll be cool. Um, this one is an example of kind of an object that is the focus of the image. Um, so it's not like a, like an empty landscape or, um, you know, just vast space. This actually has objects in the middle of the image. Um, so that'll be pretty interesting to see. I'm pretty excited about that image. Um, and this is along the same theme guys. So I don't know if this is going to be painful to look at cause it might be too close. I don't know. Um, but cause I noticed whenever you look at these 3d images, you kind of cross your eyes a little bit. Um, so this might get uncomfortable, but you know, we have this fit, this little gate going around and then we have, um, the well right here. Um, and then we have this little area and there's a tree over here. So, um, this is a good example of left, right, left eye, right eye. So over here, you can see more of the mansion than you can over here. And then here you can see, uh, less of the tree than over here. You can see the other side of the tree over here. So that kind of gives you an idea of a little different perspective in the middle. It's kind of hard to tell because the objects are, um, kind of far away, but this is a good example of how the left eye is a little bit different than the right eye, but you put those together and that's how your brain um, determines depth. Um, I, this is just another shot of this little well area. Um, this has a sign that I think is going to be pretty cool. And I think it's interesting that this sign, so this image, if you look at the words on the on the sign, this image is crispier than this image. So I don't know how that's going to affect reading stuff. You might not be able to take pictures of stuff you can read with this camera that might be um, painful to look at. Um, this one's going to be pretty cool because again, we got the columns, we got the depth, we got the sidewalk, we got the bushes in the background. Um, this is is vertical, but this is not. So that'll be interesting to see if those two images come together very well. Um, yep, here's just another porch image. Um, this is one with a barn, um, but the foreground is the fence next to the barn, and then the barn kind of goes in the background. So I'll be interesting to see if this bush, this bush is pretty crispy. It seems like all of my images, the left is crispier than the right. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, this one might be tricky because we have different lens flares. So there's a lens flare there and there's a lens flare there. It might ca might make a cool effect, but it also might ruin the image. So that'll be interesting. This is a purple iris. This is the uh, Tennessee state flower. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then this one, we have an object in the foreground and then we have a barn in the background and then we have the mansion really far in the background. There's my cute little Jeep renegade right there. But, um, yeah, and there's a, there's a lens flare here. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this image turns out. There's a tree. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this image. So it might turn out pretty cool. This is, um, I'm not sure what these things are. I don't know if these are, um, they kind of look like little barns or they might've been, um, places where, um, people live like the butler or whatever. Um, and I think this is where you tie up your horse. So these are kind of cool. Um, and then here's another image of something that's really, really close in the foreground. So I'll be anxious to see. And this image is kind of crooked. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, but that's another thing with this camera. I wish it had a viewfinder on it, but it's still pretty cool. All right. So those are the images that I took. Um, and I'm going to pick, I think maybe the barn picture. Let's try this picture. All right, guys. So real easy. You just take it and you drop it. All right. And I want to make this bigger so you can see it, see what's going on. Um, so if you use your 3d glasses, um, I'm going to go ahead making this video. I'm going to put my 3D glasses on just so I can see which one's the best for my pair of glasses. 
Um, so this is right left mode. Um, the, everything out of the get go works for me. So we've got let the, and I don't know if I've changed the, the settings in here. So these are the settings that you need for the Jedi camera. So the source is left, right. Um, and one time I'm just going to do that. Uh, and then these are the different modes. So this is true anaglyph. So, um, I'm looking at this with my, uh, anaglyph glasses, my 3D glasses with the, the red on one side and the blue on the other side. And this image is very purple, but it's very cool in 3D. Like, um, and the mouse is kind of freaking me out, but, um, this bush is really cool. Um, you can really see the depth of this barn, this corner and this corner is really cool. So, um, I'll put a link in the description and I'll put the video at the end where, um, I'm just going to do a slideshow montage of all these images, um, on my other channel. So you guys can see it, but this is going to be the tutorial video. Um, so, so that's purple. So let's see what else we got here interleaved. So what this is, um, there are some, uh, 3d glasses. So an, a benefit for this would be you're not changing the color of your image with red and blue. So there are some 3d glasses that, that have kind of this left, right is made up of all these different little pieces. Um, and then you could change like left, um, left image is the odd lines and stuff like that. So if it's messing up, um, this is interleaved vertically. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to do anaglyphs. Um, but it's really cool that you could, you have all these options. So here's a color anaglyph. Um, and as you can see, there's a hint of purple and a hint of blue, but when I'm looking at it with my 3d glasses, it's full color. It looks really cool guys. Um, and depending on your screen resolution, you have to kind of cross your eyes a little bit to get it to work. But once you get your eyes focused on the right points, it's super cool. All right. Um, so that's color anaglyph. Here's a gray anaglyph. Um, and guys, this looks awesome, especially for this mansion. Um, but just because it's, um, there's blue and there's red, but when you look at it in your glasses, it looks grayscale. Um, so you don't have to worry about the purple and the red messing with your image composition. Um, here's a half color anaglyph. Oh, now this one looks pretty cool too, guys. Um, so yeah, so there's plenty of different options. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a color anaglyph. Um, and something you can do, you can swap the eyes too. So if it's messing with your head, um, it's good to do this with glass, with 3d glasses on. And I'll put a link in the description of the ones that I got. I think I spent $10 and I got three pair. Um, so my family can, can share these images with me. Um, but um, and you can choose what color glasses you get too, guys. So if you get the purple, um, if you get the purple and green, then you can get those, but I got the blue and the reds. So this is what I need for my image. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call this color anaglyph. if I spelled that right. Yep, I did. All right, so we're going to go in here. Um, so from here, um, oh, something I forgot to tell you guys. This application from the App Store is completely free to play around with. So, um, 
and I believe the only limitation is on export. So this next part where I export the image, um, this is the only part that you really have to pay for. Um, so I've got original size. Um, you can do JPEG, you can be, do ping, TIFF. Um, yeah, so um, what do we what do we choose to do? We did color and glyph, right, guys? And original size. And yeah, good to go. So we're gonna save it. Is like that. Now the only other thing is this image is squished. So um, what you're gonna need to do is change the aspect ratio in Photoshop or something like that. So I'm gonna give you um, three images in this video and then um, I'm gonna share a 360 video and a glyph on my other channel so you guys can check it out. All right guys, so here are the, I'm gonna show you three images. Um, if you want to look at all the images that I took today, you can go over to my other channel and watch it. There'll be a link in the description as well as um, the video at the end of this video <laughs> so um, yeah it looks pretty cool guys um, I'm super stoked about this I always wanted to be able to take images in 3d and now I can so check it out the Jedi stereographic 3d camera all right guys that's it so what'd you think um, I think this camera takes pretty good images um, so please like subscribe to my channels and um, let me know if this content's useful. Blessings, guys. Peace out.